Hey guys, Amy Jordan here. Welcome back to Amy Jordan Speaks. Thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing and I hope you had the best week ever. So as you can see by my lovely view of the building, I'm back in New York City this week. Um, this time, instead of just doctors, I have some really fun events related to the premiere of my movie. Amy's Victory Dance here in New York at the Real Abilities Festival on the 2nd and 5th of April. Information on my website, Amy Jordan Speaks. And you all know I had surgery. And look how straight my leg is now that Bessie's gone. She was totally curved. So, yay. Kick it up, baby. <laughs> We're going to go um, to the doctor tomorrow and see how she's doing. Today, especially, I want to spread happy and joy because I have to be honest, it's been a brutal week. So who in here kind of gets through something difficult and powers through and is like, I'm okay. And then when it's over, you kind of have a meltdown. Who can relate? That's exactly what happened to me last week as I was waiting to hear whether I could be off my crutches and... I just, I couldn't take it anymore and all the unsolicited advice and people constantly commenting about my situation without my asking and I, I kind of just lost my cookies. Have you ever lost your cookies? But you know, it's okay and at those moments it's like, all right, what kind of tools do we have in our toolbox to kind of work our way back to, you know, feeling good and feeling happy or dealing with whatever we're feeling pinned down by. And I talk a lot about that in my book, Dance Because You Can, Five Steps to Transform Trauma into Triumph, about determining and sometimes redetermining and just remembering to be happy and have appreciation. And uh, I have, you know, a strong spiritual program as an SJ Buddhist and other resources to help me manage you know all of my relationships family friends everything and so i really was able to tap into that and literally pull myself up out of bed because i was catatonic staring up the ceiling who can relate so you know especially when we're challenging trauma or physical stuff or things that we feel sometimes powerless over it can be a little bit daunting and those moments are totally okay and they will pass and Super excited about this opportunity that we have here in New York in regards to the movie. We made the movie to be a source of hope and inspiration and possibility around the world. You can catch the trailer um, on my website. So, you know, if you're overcoming trauma or you're challenging obstacles, how do you get through those sort of darker moments that we're not, apparently not supposed to talk about anymore. Everything on social media is supposed to be like, woohoo, everything's great. And you know, sometimes it's just not. So it's real talk here and we will get through that. And that's how we sort of build confidence and build steps towards being even happier because we're like, wow, I did that. And I pulled myself out in a couple of days. So let me know how you guys are doing. You know, feel free to comment. What are you struggling with? How can we support? What are your tools and your toolkit that you find helpful to pull you through those moments? How do you become then happy? <laughs> Don't you love this? Dwayne Reed in New York, $9.99. And uh, thank you for subscribing. We'll be back next week, back home in Florida. And I will have an update on how the events went this week about the movie. And I'm super excited to hear from you guys. So have the best week ever. You're winning. Congratulations. You can do it. We're your cheerleaders. And thank you for subscribing. And we'll catch you later.